Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Kim, you're very welcome here. I am a new YouTuber and I like all things slugs. So if you like these type of videos, keep um, tuned. If you um, really like these type of videos, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like and comment below. Now, just a few things before I begin. I have been missing in action this last month. I am so sorry I didn't bring content to you. Um, I've been going through a few things personally and it has really been a horrible time in my life. I'm not going to get into it, but I just want to publicly thank all the people who reached out to me in the Lux community. Your um, kind words, messages um, were really heartfelt and um, much appreciated, so thank you very much. So back to today's video, it's a handbag video, it's a review, and it's also about what fits in my bag. So I thought I would jump on with this video to start with, um, as my comeback video because it's a bag that I got quite recently. It's my latest handbag and there's very few of these um, types of videos on this handbag in particular. I was watching Minnie from Minx For All. Hi Minnie! And she had mentioned this bag in her latest video as in handbags from the House of Louis Vuitton that are catching her eye. Now, Minnie is a great girl of um, believing you do you and I do me and I must agree with Minnie. There's no point having a handbag collection if it's not something suitable for you and um, Minnie did say that she did not like this handbag as much in this print and that's fine but I just thought I had to come on and tell you why I love this bag and why I am so glad I have this bag in my collection. So let me introduce you to my carry all in on front leather. Um, it's in the colour black or noir um, in French. It has one adjustable thick strap and it really is a great bag. It's like over the shoulder like that gap there is a great um, distance for me. I have a never full and the straps really annoy me on my MM because it hits me quite high. And um, also the thin straps are quite fiddly. Whereas I find that thick broad strap sits really well on my shoulder. Now um, in this bag, it has the beautiful microfiber lining and it's in a lovely navy colour. Oh, I'm glad the light's picking it up. When I did this earlier today, the um, natural light didn't pick up on it as well. So in my bag, what does it fit and hold? Before I get to it, just want to point out some features that really made me want this bag more so than anything else in the Louis Vuitton collection. So I knew I wanted a special bag because I was turning 40. Yes, <laughs> a big birthday meant a big birthday gift. So I went for the all leather bag. I really like this bag in the all leather. Um, I really am not keen on the monogram carry-all. I just think the tie in the middle is a bit fiddly. I don't like how the luggage tags to the side. It just looks unbalanced to me. But that's my choice and my preference. So I went for the on front leather. Yes, there will be corner wear eventually because it's quite structured there at the bottom, but the feet are such a godsend. Listen. Do you hear that? When I put my handbag down on any surface and I hear that little click, I know the base of my handbag is being well protected with those feet. But what I love about this bag and this bag I tell you the truth, this kind of way put me off this bag when I first seen it online before I seen it in the store and I was like, oh that's a fiddly uh, zipper, uh, like there's no call for that, it's just a bit distracting, but because of it having good purpose, I would not do without this now. That zipper is buttery smooth 
and honest to goodness, I am so happy. It has this fiddly zipper pull. Um, it definitely was uh, an enhancement to the bag. At first I was like, oh, why? But now I've seen it in use, it's practical and it has made using this bag so much user friendly. Now this bag cost 2,190 points, it is my most expensive handbag. Was it worth it? It's an all leather bag. It's beautiful, soft, squishy, structured. It has gorgeous gold, shiny hardware. All the hardware matches. There's nothing odd or uneven about it. It's got a broad shoulder strap, but it also has a wonderful complimentary pouch that catches everything and anything that you need to carry. And um, this bag I can use day or night to the office, um, out for friends with drinks. I can use this bag basically for anything, including formals and weddings because of this little guy. This clutch can be used as a wristlet. And I can hook that on there. It can be hooked on here, or I could take this off and attach my Neo Noe black strap and I could have this crossbody. So it was really functional. And um, so like if I was going to a concert or something and I just want a little bit of cash and maybe my phone and a card, get yeah, that catch all, I could definitely carry it all. Um, under my arm, it sits really comfortable. It also actually sits really comfortable over my arm as a shoulder bag um, and that's not something I would be keen to use because I've got quite big arms and that but um, it's, it's, it's hidden high but not to a point that's uncomfortable and going to do damage to the bag if it, you know it, it just has a I'm nice sorry. Apologies, so it just has a nice drop so this on prompt leather is the traditional on prompt leather and it really complements the large print. I don't know if the light's picking that up or not, but this has the large monogram print and I have to say I really like it. And the hobo bag is definitely working for me. Um but yeah um if you're interested in this bag don't hold back it's a great bag and it's so functional. Um, what fits in my bag? So it has, before I move on to what fits into my bag, it has one large zipper pocket and two slot pockets. Now the slot pockets, I can fit my phone in, but because I'm filming on my phone, I can't really share that with you. But trust me, it does fit the iPhone 13 Pro. So um, yeah, it's a great size of a slot pocket. And I've used the other slot pocket for a card case and it has fit it prop perfectly. So inside, what fits in my bag, I have the pochette that came with the bag. So we'll take that out. I have my multi pochette. And as I say, it's, this fits in to the sit at the back of the bag in that zip pocket. I also have my key clay, but I just want to make sure I'm looking at it this way because my bank number is showing on the other side. So a traditional card holder and it fits really well. I have my key clay as well and I have my sunglasses and they're fitting really well. I also have my Josephine long wallet and it fits no problem whatsoever. I'm just going to shake it out because it's got a little bit dusty with me carrying stuff in it and it is one big pocket with one zip and two slots. It is a fabulous bag and if you are on the fence and you do think the zipper pull is a bit fiddly, 
go in the store and try it. Believe me, it changed my mind completely. Just how functional it was just made such a difference. So if this is a bag that you're interested in or like, or even if you dislike it, please drop me a comment. Um, let me know your thoughts. You know, we're all different and every bag is different for every person and some bags you um, you really fall in love with and other bags you don't and um, I have really fallen for this bag. I think a black bag is handy for most people and um, I have a few black bags in my collection. I'm surprised I've added another one but this bag as I say is so functional it can be used for every purpose whatsoever, including formals and weddings because of that beautiful pochette. And sorry, that's my pochette um, chain in the background as well. So if you like this video, please comment, give me a thumbs up. And I'm really trying to grow my channel. So if you really like to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll drop all the details below. Thanks for watching.